The Citroën Aeol is one of the most technically ambitious concept cars of the 1980s and a milestone in automotive design methodology. It was revealed at the Geneva Motor Show in 1986, at a time when Citroën had no major new production models to showcase internationally. The project was approved on the condition that it would not interfere with ongoing production design work. This constraint directly led to a historic decision. The EOL would be developed entirely using computers. The initial design theme was created by Jeffrey Matthews, who had joined Citroën from PSA-owned Chrysler United Kingdom. His drawings were translated into full-scale digital surfaces, making the EOL one of the first cars ever designed completely on a computer. The body was then milled using a five-axis CNC machine, bypassing many traditional clay model stages. This process significantly reduced development time and marked a turning point for digital automotive design. The EOL was based primarily on the Citroën CX platform, although some sources later referenced links to the XM. Aerodynamics were the central focus. With a drag coefficient reported between 0.17 and 0.19, the EOL achieved nearly half the drag of the standard CX. Fully enclosed wheels played a key role. The front wheel covers were hydraulically linked to the steering system. They opened outward during turns and remained closed at high speeds when steering input was minimal. Even the underbody was smoothed to reduce turbulence. The suspension was another technological showcase. Citroen equipped the EOL with advanced hydropneumatic suspension featuring active, no-roll behavior. Ride height automatically lowered at speed, improving stability and airflow. The success of these tests influenced the decision to equip future CX successors with active suspension systems. Inside, the EOL offered a futuristic, technology-driven cabin. Four seats were arranged around a central console and transmission tunnel, which housed a computer, television, video game console, and stereo system. The seats were cantilevered from the console, leaving the floor uncluttered. Controls were grouped on pods beside the steering wheel or on a flat panel with tactile buttons for gear selection. Secondary controls moved with the steering wheel to maintain ergonomic consistency. A partially glass roof and extensive glazing created a strong sense of space and visibility. Power came from the CX GTI's 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine producing 138 horsepower, confirming that the EOL remained a combustion engine concept despite its forward-looking form. Today, the Citroën EOLI is remembered not only for its extreme aerodynamics, but also as the first concept car fully realized through computer-aided design, anticipating many technologies and design principles that are standard in the automotive industry today.